Let's look at how to solve kinetic and potential energy problems. First of all, look at your physical science reference table. The formula for potential energy due to gravity, in other words, this is from something that falls, not from something that's stretched or compressed, is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity, which happens to be 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height is equal to the force of gravity, which, by the way, is the weight of an object, times the height. Kinetic energy is one half times the mass times the velocity squared. Only the velocity is squared, not the rest of the equation. When I copy these two equations, I prefer to just copy FH. Because if I copy the little subscript of G for gravity, then I often try to fill in G for gravity, and that messes up my calculations. So number one, a mover carries a couch with a mass of 95 kilograms, a distance of 100 meters up the stairs. How much potential energy does the couch have? Well, first of all, we have a mass of 95 kilograms, so this is M. We have a distance of 10 meters, so if you put D for distance, remember that's the height of the stairs. So D and H are somewhat interchangeable. How much potential energy does the couch have? So we want potential energy. The formula is potential energy. We have M, we have H. Wait a minute, what about G? Oh yeah, that's found on your reference table. And G equals 9.8 meters per second per second or meters per second squared. Therefore, we can just plug this in. We need this part of the equation right here. So potential energy is the mass of 95 times acceleration due to gravity, 9.8, times the height of the stairs, which is 10 meters. Do your math, and you'll have your answer. Now, you have just found your potential energy. What unit is energy in? Oh yeah, energy and work are both the same unit and you work for gold and jewels. It's in joules, which is abbreviated capital J. And this gives you 9,310 joules. Number two is very similar to number one. You try that one. Number three, what is the kinetic energy of a 28 kilogram dog running at a speed of 2.5 meters per second? So they are asking for kinetic energy. So we'll be using this formula. They told you it was a 28 kilogram dog. Kilograms is mass. And a speed of 2.5 meters per second, speed and velocity are pretty much the same thing. So we do 1 half mv squared. Instead of writing a half, I like to write 0.5 because that's easier for me to type on my calculator times the mass, which is 28, times the velocity squared, which is 2.5 squared. Only the velocity is squared, not the rest. Next, do your math. So I will type 0.5 times 28 times 2.5 squared. If I don't put any parentheses, it's only going to square the last number, which is what we want. Then do your math, and your answer will be 87.5. Now, what unit? Ah, energy is in joules. You try number four. It's just like number three. You'll be able to do number five through eight on your own. Number nine is one of those problems where you have to solve to find your answer. Remember, potential energy is mgh. So if you put it in a triangle, m times g times h, it turns out all three of those can go on the bottom of the triangle because they are multiplied. That means potential energy is going to go on the top. Now you can finish solving. Number 10, if all the potential energy is converted as it falls, how much kinetic energy will the box have right before it hits the ground? Well, however much energy it had at the top, all of that energy is converted to kinetic energy, so however much potential energy it started with is the amount of kinetic energy it ends with, because energy is conserved. 
number 11 has a little twist to it. This time we're given newtons, not kilograms. So wait a minute. Newtons is a unit of big newtons, force newtons. Newtons is force. The desk is 1.2 meters above the ground. That's a distance or a height. And the potential energy is what we're looking for. Now, wait a minute. Oh, potential energy equals force times height. Because it turns out that mass times acceleration due to gravity is the force. So you'll be using potential energy equals force times height to solve number 11 and 12.